This is Todd Ponsky from the Journal of Pediatric Surgery, and today we are in Chihuahua, Mexico, at the 49th Annual Mexican Congress of Pediatric Surgeons. The academic coordinator is Dr. Jorge Cantu, who invited us here. Jorge, thank you for having us. It's a pleasure for us. And uh, today we're going to have a special guest doing the journal review, Dr. Miguel Gilfon from Santiago, Chile. Happy to be here, Todd, and thank you for the invitation. Today we're going to review the paper called Mucus Fistula Refeeding Decreases Parental Nutrition Exposure in Post-Surgical Premature Neonates, done by Colin Goss and senior author Howard Pryor. This is a retrospective study with two arms. One arm, the neonates have the stoma and a mucus fistula, and the other arm has stoma, no mucus fistula, or wasn't refeeding in the arm. So basically, it's a paper saying that if you start refeeding patients through the mucus fistula, they get sooner off TPN and can have a reconstruction surgery uh, sooner as well. Miguel, I thought that was a really cool paper. I don't do mucus fistula refeeding, but now I may. Do you do mucus fistula refeeding in Monterey? Usually not. No. Would you do it now? Uh, maybe in my next case, maybe yes. <laughs> I think it's a, it's a good paper. Uh, we have done it in, in bigger patients, in neonates, but not preterms. And uh, if, if the data is okay, I think it's a great thing for the neonates to get off the TPN sooner and get a reconstruction uh, sooner than the others. So it's good. I agree. I thought it was a great paper. Well, thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed this review. We'll see you next time.